What kind of doctor do you want to be? <laughs> Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please hit that like and subscribe. And comment if you like this video. Hey, Ashton, what are you studying? EBM. What's EBM? Evidence based Has it been helpful towards your medical education? Absolutely. Give us a tip for step one studying. Be in touch with your homies. Who's your homie? Jang Yoon. Point at him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be in touch, Ashton. Sure. Boom. I'm done with studying with Ashton. I just have some old Qatari Real bills and I need to use them all before I go to Korea. So I'm here to splurge in McDonald's. Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> Bye Ashton. Bye. Say some good words for me for step. Yeah. First of all, have a safe journey and then once you're there, grind. Alright, thanks bro. Bye. What does she have again? She has a demodulator needed in her right optic nerve. Oh, that's uh, how old is she? 23? 23. She has uh, multiple sclerosis. Yeah, thanks for that. It's all you mentioned the question. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's rabies. Drools excessively. Yeah, yeah. Throat spasm. Exactly. None is bit by a bat. Shane, how is step? Bro, yes. step is. I'm rocking the step right now. I'm getting everything right as well. Nice. Hopefully, uh, 27 inch out well. Huh? Doing well on step and making money. What a man. Where are your kids? What happened to your kids? Back from my studying, and when I was coming back to the dorms, I was looking for the cat mom and her babies, but couldn't find them. So I asked the security guards where they went, and apparently, I guess someone complained about them, and I think they called this local stray cat company to have them taken away. I'm pretty sad that they moved away because she was such a nice cat and I would have loved to see her and her babies. But Off to another day of studying. Get in loser, we're going shopping! Hey Dr. Isha Lambo. <laughs> Give us a studying tip. Don't put me on the spot. I suck at this. Give me a fun fact about you. Please, I'm not meant for this YouTube life. <laughs> How do you feel about match day, Dr. Lambda? I'm dead nervous. Who know? How's med school? <laughs> Isha, give, give, give me a study tip. Study with your friends. Yeah. How long have you been studying? What do you mean? Like years. Oh my god, you're vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of studying, Bruno? It's part of our career. It's not like a, kind of like something that looks like a tumor, but it goes away on its own. In adults, like. In adults? It starts with a K. K? I think. What is it? Keratoacanthoma or whatever. Oh, yeah, you're right. Keratoacanthoma. Oh my god. Okay. Did you think we were gonna get it? Yeah, I have a question. What are the serum markers for rheumatoid arthritis? Factor anti CCP. Uh, yeah. Oh, rheumatoid factor anti CCP, okay. Yeah. What uh, HLA type is it? Four. Four. Four doored room. Bruno, I'll, I'll quiz you every time I see you. You <laughs> quiz me every time I see you. See me. Good. Good. Bye. 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 Good night. All right, Bruno is the president of our school. Alex. Say hello to Mr. President. Привет, yes, Alex. <laughs> hey guys, this is uh, my new roommate, um, Alex. He's from Russia. Say something in Russian. Привет. 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 Меня зовут Jung Yoon. Uh, меня зовут Александр. Я люблю тебя, Александр. Спасибо. I love studying for step one because it makes me feel like a real doctor. And every time I learn something new, it makes me feel like I'm becoming more and more like a real doctor. Because before I didn't know anything, and now I know at least a little bit and know what doctors are talking about. But what sucks about studying is that no matter how long I study, let's say from eight to eight, there's always more stuff to do and I'm never satisfied. Like, I would never go to bed and say, wow, I've done everything I needed to do for today. Today has been the most productive day of my life. I just can't do that because after a certain hours, my brain just like eats up a lot and it's used up everything. I get super hungry and I just can't sit in place. So I need to kind of release it all out. And these days, I haven't been to the gym in so long, but I've been replacing that with doing jumping ropes and running. And that's really helped me out a lot because it just freshes my mind. I'm not really looking at screens or doing anything like that because 
I'm looking at screens all day. And also I've blocked out on all of my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Netflix. I've blocked and deleted everything. So I don't have anything fun to do other than the joy of studying, of course. And the second thing is that I've been filming everything of my day, um, any thoughts or um, any interactions with friends. I try to record it as much as I can so I can keep the memories in a video format where people can watch over again and remember and I could remind myself that I also went through that. Alright, so I've done most of today's studying but I just can't get myself to study anymore because my brain is like fried. I'm doing laundry as a way of procrastination. My classes aren't over yet and my study break didn't start officially so I have an 8 a.m. tomorrow and it's already 11 p.m. I still have some more questions and more studying to do and then I have to get up early. I was gonna go for a run and kind of freshen myself up but I don't have that much time tonight so I'm gonna just do some jumping ropes at home. Oh also I got this BTS army shirt. No I'm just kidding. I think I always look tired when I film myself and I'm sorry to those who are watching the video because I always look tired but it's because I'm tired. Sorry. Okay, so apparently we're supposed to talk about what we're gonna do during step break and write it or something. Guys, uh, make sure to exercise every day. Nice, Jenghyun. Tell us more. What kind of exercise? Okay, so they recommend 30 minutes a day for at least 5 days a week. And I, would, I like doing uh, jumping ropes or running because it's uh, time efficient. Okay, I'm going to tell you a pickup line. Okay, tell, tell me a pickup line. Okay, do you like raisins? Yeah, I like raisins. Okay, then I like a... Then it's fine. Okay, then I don't like raisins. Well, then how about a date? <laughs> <laughs> Ashton, what kind of doctor do you want to be? Shumam. What? The dog. <laughs> uh, one of the uh, neurologists. What is the major component of pulmonary surfactant? Uh, either this is it cholesterol or corticosteroid? It is, I think, okay. some cholesterol. It's called diphosphophosphatyl something cholesterol, DPPC. Okay. It matures from 20 weeks to 35 weeks. And if you are a premature baby, then you give cortisol to mature your lungs. Fact of the and day. what is the ratio of surfactant to something that signifies lung maturity? That is two, and uh, the phospholipid that you're talking about is also called lecithin. Lecithin to sphingo something. Okay, so it's two to one? Yeah, two to one. If it's less than 1.5, then it's premature lungs and you give cortisol. All right, so I just got COVID tested for my flight tomorrow. I get the results tomorrow as well, so I hope it comes back negative. I wish I could have gotten the vaccine before leaving, but gotta deal with it. So yesterday, I just couldn't study at all because my brain was fried and I didn't feel like doing anything. And I was quite unproductive all day and I didn't want to leave my room, I didn't want to do anything. And I had good sleep from yesterday. So today, I woke up early so I can study much more than I did yesterday. I'm a lot more motivated with some good rest. And one thing that I told myself when I woke up is when I'm not motivated to study, think of it like this. I'm not just studying for myself, but for my future patients. So that should be enough reason to get off my butt and start studying and get through the day because it's not just for me. So yeah, that's uh, something that motivates me to study. Go eat. I think it's a battle over here. As you can see, it's raining cats and dogs outside today. I mean, what we we think it was here? Basim, you're gonna be a doctor. How, how do you feel? <laughs> How do you feel, uh, Basim? Well, uh, I wish uh, my footy boy was with me. 
Nice. Nice. How do you feel? It's like as we go on. Oh wait, you have to go. Yeah. Right. Coming to school for the last time as a med two. Lecture hall one. This was where my med one was. Lecture hall two was supposed to be where I'll be for med two, but it was all online. Irene, so how do you feel about that last OSCE of med two? Yeah. done with Met 2 unless we're done with uh, step 1 so oh okay okay yeah. fine fair enough all right so yes, the, the SP's comment about me yeah. was that it was nice because she said that it makes her sore throat worse if she eats spicy food so I was like no more spicy food for you oh that's funny yeah. that's actually funny I would find it funny I had some time left so I was like where are you from and then she was like all surprised and she was like, South Africa. And I was like, uh, oh, you have a lovely accent. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Look at you. What, you, what happened to you? personal skills. For me, they told me I was very efficient, organized. Cute. How's your food, buddy? Yeah, what's your favorite place in the student center? The gym. Oh, nice. For some getting some curls in. Yeah, not getting curls in because of step. Oof, reality. We just checked our last uh, quiz grade. Reem was like, okay, I think I did really bad. And she gets a 22 out of 22. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a gunner. Reem, good luck with the uh, step one. Thank you, JJ. I'm gonna miss you and I'm gonna miss our great study sessions and friendship. You've been a great classmate and I look forward to <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> I wanna say bye to the vlog viewers and see you next time.